Hello everybody and welcome to my first draft on NHL 24. We finally have a reset here which is beautiful. I feel like I really needed that. So we're going for a draft that I did do in NHL 23. I'm going to let the AI select every other pick. Will they do good by me? Will they do me dirty? Let's find out. And also, let's find out what team we're going to be using. It is the... Is that not- oh, it is the random button. We get Vancouver. All right. For the first time in NHL 24, I don't think so, Jabroni. Get out of here. Also, owner mode, no thanks. Fantasy draft, obviously, that's why we're here. I will leave player morale on, but turn off the meetings. Salary cap for the extra challenge. And yeah, we'll allow computers to trade in the first one. What will be our first draft position? Let's go- you know what? I feel like we're going to get a low one for some reason. So I'll say 22, but hopefully I'm wrong. Five. That's great. McDavid went to the Coyotes, Kale McCarr to the Blues, Dreisaitl went to the Ducks, and Pasta to the Detroit Red Wings. And now, it is our turn. There is 195 overall player left in Nate Mack, so I almost feel like I have to. He's a centerman, loaded with abilities. He's got the medium franchise. I'm going to draft Matthews. Just kidding, I am going McKinnon. So that was a huge gap between picks. We see Caulfield just went there, and now it is our turn again. However, I don't get to choose this one. So I will have to sim to user pick, and hopefully we got somebody decent. Brandon Montour, all right. I feel like Ovi and McKinnon would be disgusting together. Also, can I just point out, right here it says he's 37, and right there it says he's 38. What's up with that? Yeah, Nate is gonna feed Ovi. That first line is going to be menacing. Kirby Doc going in the fourth round. Let's sim to user pick. The AI gives us Darnell Nurse, so they are adamant on defensemen. Tyler Toffoli getting some love this year. 87 overall and three abilities. That is nice to see. Should I take a goalie, actually? Yeah, it might be a good idea. I do want to take Toffoli, though, just because he got the buff. And I think that's... You know what? I am gonna do it. Oh, no. I forgot that it's... Can the AI please take a goalie? Can you do me a favor here? All right, throw me a bone. Sim to user pick and we get Philip Heedle. Oh no, I mean, that's not a bad pick, but all right, now I'm definitely taking attendee. Where'd they go? Why is there zero goalies left? I do really like Flower. I mean, how can you not? He seems like such an awesome guy. He's the highest overall. The only goalie with abilities left. There's also that like battery thing that I've never seen before, so I feel like that's a new one. He might be 38 or 39, whatever he actually is, but yeah, you know what? You're gonna be our starting goalie. Watch this AI take a goalie now. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Same to user pick. Okay, we got, as I like to call him, Rickard Rackel. He has an ability. Tim Winston. I'm sending it. Make selection. Even though it said pick, I just... Quickly ran the thesaurus in my head. I can't speak English. We already knew that though. That's nothing new. Oh, that was a close call. I almost made a pick, but I didn't. So it is an even number. Sim to user pick and we get Harley. What's his overall? All right, hold on. Drafted players. He's an 80. All right. Yeah, you know what? I'm into it. Good pick. There have not yet been any selections that I am super against, so right now I feel like we're gelling. Kind of looks like we need a left winger. I mean, the likely scenario is that we're going to have two right wingers on the second line because of this, but maybe not. So who should I grab? I could take Perron. Could also take Kalorn. I got a crazy one for you. He didn't have a picture in 23, but he sure does now. I'm going with Noah Cates. And that brings us to another AI pick. They're going to take a forward. No, they love taking defensemen. Holy. To the AI's defense, and actually to its credit, I feel like I am only taking forwards. But the only reason I'm taking forwards is because they're only taking defense, it seems. I don't know. Either way, I guess it's sort of working out. Let's go with... How much? 18 mil. Okay. Yeah, we are actually not that far into the draft. Like, I mean, this is our 13th selection, but we still need seven more players after this. Hopefully the AI knows that and is going to be taking that into consideration because otherwise we're going over the cap. We now have three centers, five wingers, and four D. I think I'm going to take a backup goalie if the AI does not do it here. So let's sim to our pick. And they take Stellar, so never mind. Read my mind. JVR making 1 million. He was making 7 in 23, which makes him kind of tempting. 
Yeah, why not? Come on, AI. Holy Mata. I also hope at this point I need to stop doubting this auto drafter that's on our team here because they have been doing well, but are they taking handedness for defensemen into consideration? Let's go here. So Montour is right. And then we have, wow, that takes a long time. Okay, that's good. We have a one, two that is amazing. Zub is also right. Mata's left. Harley is left, so we just need a right-handed defender. And you know what? I'm gonna... Should I, though? Because what if the AI takes another defense? <laughs> I never really thought about that. I'll just let them draft our whole decor. Let's go with Noah. Making 775. I don't see why not. This is the penultimate AI selection. Are they gonna take a defenseman? They take Sod. That is interesting. I am taking a defender right now, and I swear if they take a defense... Actually, yeah, this is my final selection. So we're going with Ilya Labushkin, and then the AI gets the final pick of the draft. What are they going to do with it? Sim, and we get... Boris Kachuk. I have no idea what his overall is. It's probably not that high, but he's got to be on the team. Is his name Boris? Did I make that up? I feel like it is. Hopefully. Well, here we go. The overview of our first NHL 24 draft. And I gotta say, it looks pretty good. I'm a little bit surprised that our first line is only a plus two. I thought it would be more than that. I am, however, satisfied with a plus one on the second line. And I wonder if there's any... I could do that, but do I want to? And I could also do that. There's a lot of ways. You know what? He is listed as a depth forward. I don't think it's worth boosting the chemistry. We also have roll three lines, so... It's not really worth getting the plus one on the fourth line anyway. So I'm into it. I think we have a pretty solid team here. Defensively, we've got Nurse and Montour plus three. Phenomenal. And then we've got Mata, Zub, zero. And plus one on the final here. Roll all pairing. So that should be solid. And in the net, we've got Flower backed up by Anthony Stolarz. My prediction is... 46 wins, we're in the playoffs, Nate gets the most points with 95. Actually, I have done a career sim and I feel like players get a lot of points in this game, so I'm actually going to say Nate gets 108. Definitely not off to a roaring start here, but we're also not doing bad. Currently second in the division, we're getting pretty far into the sim now. Records holding up, so... Yeah, I think we are going to be a playoff-bound team, which doesn't surprise me. Uh-oh, we have our first coach firing of NHL 24. Coach Ryan from Carolina has been relieved of his duties. It really looks like the battle for our division is between us and the Sharks. Actually, the Oilers are kind of catching up, but yeah, we were both way ahead for a minute there. I'm going to keep our block, but we'll enter just to see who's available. Because, again, first draft of the new game. And we have Lindholm, 89 overall. That would be great. But I'm not making any trades. The Ducks are big time sellers. 38 wins leaving the trade deadline. I think that my prediction of 46 is not going to be accurate. We should exceed that unless we go on a miserable losing streak. Which is possible, to be fair. It can happen. No, there's a lot of games left. There's no way. Coach Lawrence has been deleted as well from the Toronto Maple Leafs. 50 wins. Win these last two. Come on. Yeah, 50 wins in our first go. The Sharks won our division and the President's Trophy, but we were fourth in the league. 50 wins, 105. That is amazing. And right off the bat, we have some madness. The Oilers and the Flames both qualified, finishing at 20 and 21, respectively. Unbelievable. Did not see this coming. Ovi had the most points, and he wasn't even point a game. He had 81 and only 26 goals. Nate Mack had more goals than Ovechkin. Am I missing something? Brandon Montour was 61. Nurse, 59. And JVR ended up with 55. Anthony Stellars. Small sample size, but still a 923, 245, and Flower kept it under 3 GAA and almost had a 910. So I'm in. It's good. He actually had the most wins in the league. Swayman, number two with 41, and he had a 922. Okay, that is impressive. And then Allmark as well, a 919. 
Yeah, they had seasons. Dougie Hamilton with 101. Captain Quinn puts up 96. Kale McCarr and EK65 both managed to put up 80. And McDavid wins the Art Ross because of course he does. 53 goals. I see 55 from Pasta here, so he might get the Rocket Richard. It looks like that is the case. Yes. Yup. Well deserved, Pasta. And now it's time for the important stats. Who fought the most? 21 from Marcus Foligno. 17 from Corey Perry. Tanner Janot, of course. Tom Wilson's up there. Love to see it. Foligno had the most penalty minutes and it wasn't close. We are up against the Oilers. Let's see what their team looks like. All right, they got Matthew Kachuk, Kirby Doc, and Mark Stone. I feel like they don't really have a lot of depth here. They got McBain, 79 overall. Poulin, 78 overall. I feel like our second line's better. First line, I feel like our first line's better too. I just think we're better than this team. Defensively, I think we're better than them. In net, we are pretty even, I guess. First three games, here we go, Vancouver. Let's light them up. That's a great start. 4-1 win, 2-1 win, 6-5 overtime win. Just do it. Break out the brooms, you cowards. No. Don't. Do not. Thank you. 9-5. Respectable. Next up is the San Jose Sharks. So again, let's see what we're going up against here. Ovi! Two points a game. En route to Con Smythe. San Jose has Jared McCann, Steven Stamkos, and Kai Rue. That is a very, very fine first line. Second line, they got Bennett, so thankfully injuries are off. Charlie McAvoy, 94 overall. Holy, they also got Brandon Carlo. Their second defense, honestly, their whole defensive core is really good. I'll just say that. And then they got Swayman in net. All right. A lot of Bruins on the defensive aspect of their game here. They finished the season with 51 wins and 7-1-2. and two. We were 7-3-0. and oh. Looks like it's going to be a close contest. Sim the first three and see what happens. And overtime, lo oh dear. Okay, that's not good. Can we make it a best of three? No, we cannot. It's not looking good. Five on three to start the game. If we don't score, thank you. I was going to say, we literally should just skate off the ice. We do not deserve it. Escaped the first period with a one goal lead and we pile it on. Oh my word. Okay, I'm just going to sim the whole period. Yeah. That is a dub. We do still have to win two more games in a row to advance to the conference finals. It is not going to be easy. We start off with a power play again, and we do not capitalize on it. Power play for the Sharks, and we kill it off this time. Will we have a scoreless first? It's definitely looking that way. Yes, we do. However, can we have an equally explosive second from last game? That's not good. That's not a good start. Not what I'm looking for. Who took an eight-minute penalty? There we go! Tom Wilson nets one. Sebastian Ajo, not the Carolina one. The defense... Paterka scores. And now we are down by one, just like that. We are being outshot heavily. They're basically doubling. Come on, guys. Someone clutch up here. Someone clutch up. We need one goal to tie it up. Just get it into overtime and anything could happen. Really running out of time here. Oh, that is so unfortunate. You know what, though? For our first run, not bad. Ovi with 22 points in 12 games. He had his guy. Toffoli with 20 points as well. Nate had 17. Where was this during the season, guys? Flower really didn't do that bad either. Like, these aren't phenomenal stats, but they're definitely not stats where you can point the finger and say, this is on you. Georgiev was insane. But how about Sorokin? Lights out 941-195. How does he do it, ladies and gentlemen? Tyson Berry led defenseman with 19 points, but Carlson had 18 and he did it in 18 games. So that's slightly more impressive. Your Con Smythe, it was Buffalo that won the cup, right? I think so. Con Smythe winner, Sydney the Kidney. I guess he was most likely playing with Svechnikov and Kent Johnson because they went off. I feel like Ovi should get the Con Smythe. Look at this guy. He's up here, top five for points in the playoffs, and he did it in 12 games. <laughs> All right, the team awards. We are fairly familiar with those. The Art Heart combo is not here. 
Art Ross goes to McDavid. He's about to have a clean sweep there. It is only Oilers on that list. Pasta gets the Hart Memorial. Quinn Hughes, Captain Quinn with the James Norris. Cooch takes home the Lady Bang. The Calder goes to Bedard on the Leafs. That'd be cool. The Kidney did get the Conn Smythe Trophy. Vesna goes to Swayman. And so does the Jennings. Schneider with the Bill Masterton. Klo taking home the Jack Adams. The other Sebastian Aho, or I guess the Sebastian Aho, if the other one's the other one, you know what I mean? Wins the Selkie. Ted Lindsay also goes to Pasta, and so does the Rocket Richard. So that's three trophies for him. Your playoff tree. Wow. Okay, they did go to seven in the first round, and then after that, it was just light work for them, apparently. I'm gonna call that a success, though. We had a great season. It was a decent playoff run, but we just ran into the Sharks, who got the better of us, and then they got deleted, completely waxed by Smashville. Well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Let me know how you're enjoying NHL 24 so far. And on that note, I will see you soon.